since we will be using intercepts and graphing here, we need to know first what x and y intercepts are. When we say x intercept, that would be a point that intercepts, cuts, or passes through the x axis. That's why it has to form a zero, wherein we have a value for x coordinate, but our y coordinate would be zero. Similarly, y-intercept will have the form 0b, that means x-coordinate here is 0, and we have a value for y-coordinate. And yes, this is a point that cuts, passes, or intercepts the y-axis. To know their difference, let's have this example. Say we have a point 3, 0, and another point 0, 2. Notice that our point 3, 0 or point A intercepts the x-axis. And yes, we have a value there for x which is 3 and our y value is 0. As for point 0, 2 or point B, our x value is 0 and our y value is 2 and that makes it a y-intercept. Let's now make use of these two intercepts in graphing 6x minus 2y equals 4. So for us to have an x-intercept, we have to consider that y is equal to 0. And so if y is equal to 0, we now have 6x minus 2 times 0 equals 4. Since 2 times 0 is just equal to 0, we're left with 6x at the left side of the equal sign. And we have to divide both sides by 6, giving us now 4 over 6, or that would be 2 thirds. And so for y-intercept this time, we have to make x equal 0 and we have to solve for y. Thus, we now have 6 times 0 minus 2y equals 4. And since 6 times 0 is 0, we're now left with negative 2y at the left side of the equation and we still have 4 at the right side. Dividing both sides by negative 2, we now have y equals negative 2. And so the x-intercept would be 2 thirds 0 and our y-intercept would be 0 negative 2. Considering that at least two points would be needed to graph a line, we can definitely graph 6x minus 2y equals 4 with just an x-intercept and a y-intercept. So let us now graph the x-intercept of 6x minus 2y equals 4, which is the point 2 thirds 0, including its y-intercept, which is 0, negative 2. If you want to be reviewed on how to plot points, just click the eye icon there at the right corner of your screen, and you will be redirected to that suggested video. So yes, connecting these two points will now be the graph of the equation 6x minus 2y equals 4. Let's try to compare the graph that we did manually to a graph produced by a graphing calculator. Let's input first the intercepts that we solved, starting with the x-intercept, which is 2 thirds 0, then the y-intercept, which is 0, negative 2. And to verify if these intercepts would really be the intercepts of the equation 6x minus 2y equals 4, the equation of the line 6x minus 2y equals 4 should pass through these points.